All right, so, yeah, so now good. to our third Go pick, ahead. Drake May, the New England Patriots. Right. All right, so Drake May, wow. uh, you know, probably I feel like one of the most volatile draft picks that I feel like we've seen, you know, in the past few years where it just, you know, some people had him really high, some people had him really low. Uh, you know, my brother, your son included, you know, just kind of went through the the whirlwind of just everywhere throughout this process. But the Patriots got Drake May. What are your first thoughts about about that and how it played out? Well, a lot of people must have liked him. The Giants and Minnesota both did what they could to move up in the first round to the third pick to take Drake May. So there were a lot of teams that liked him a lot as that third quarterback. So yeah. that that's the first thing. Um, and uh, of course, I'll get you know I'll give you know the team credit. New England they weren't going to give in and take a couple first round draft picks and a second one, whatever, and get rid of who they thought was their new franchise quarterback. And I understand he's big, strong. We know all that. Really physical. Can you know take a beating? Survives that. He's going to do that. And he's anything they as a quarterback you do almost in new England, they're going to look right. at it as a plus because I'm not getting on the quarterbacks with there, but I guess I am the arms and the throwing. It's just not NFL caliber right. period. And, you know, Mac Jones was up there. Mac Jones knows how to process read and all that. But the one thing he didn't have, he didn't have enough. And, you know, everybody always sometimes says to me, why do you talk so much about arm strength? Because it's important. Yeah. It's like throwing a baseball hard and, uh, you know, and baseball. We want somebody to throw it really hard. We don't. So, but, uh, and I thought it hurt New England a lot in their past game for Mac Jones and all that, just because they couldn't make explosive plays. And the big thing, which I've said many times, I think uh, Drake May, I'm, you and I are going to do a little something this week and do some videos on him, which I'm really excited to do. But, and and I've said it, and I, uh, I think I, um, made myself believe it even more a few days ago before the draft because I saw, again, downfield, I love his throws. On the run, right and left, he is fantastic throwing the ball down the field. But some of the short throws, and sometimes I see a little hitch in the throw. And I think I'm going to be able to show that to people and just tell you what concerns me a little. And I saw a few of them in his pro day, all that. I'm not picking on him, but I'm just trying to – show you maybe why some people like us have a little reservation about him. You know, there's a love, a lot to love about him, but that, that little tick in the throwing motion, man, you know how the NFL is. It's just unforgiving. And, and uh, so that's, but the other thing is what did new England do for him? Man, let's talk about that first. They drafted a lot of offensive players, wide receiver, you know, this old lineman and they needed to upgrade that offense big time. As I've said, I thought they were probably the slowest team no in the NFL last year, and uh, they're trying to get away from that. The defense, sound as can be, <laughs> and it just can't do everything. It it can't score yeah. for the offense too, you know. But damn, their, they their try. defense was so well coached. <laughs> yeah, I know. So that's kind of my first thoughts about Drake May, and I'm anxious to see how yeah. this works out in New England. Yeah, I mean, you Go know, ahead. Drake. Uh, I understand why people like him so much. And, and there's a lot of this game that, that I really do value uh, at, at a premium at the position, you know, but for me personally, you know, when I was going through this evaluation process and really look at him, that's where I just, I couldn't kind of get over that hitch in the motion. You know, I, I, I can't lie. I kind of hung on that maybe a little bit more than I maybe should have. I love the fact that he's a competitive as hell. I love his dynamic of his family. I love that he's the youngest uh, of a bunch of boys that seem to be all just sports psychos, wow. you know, in the best way possible. So I love that aspect of the person, you know, but yeah, the throwing stuff occasionally at times and just the decision making in the game, you know, it occasionally it bothered me. It really did, you know, and for me, that would have been right. something where just, yeah. That's why he was number five on the list for me as top quarterbacks coming out of this draft because of those things. But he definitely has a extremely high ceiling, maybe as high a ceiling as really anybody because, you know, he does have that room to grow and become better. You know, there's I don't know how much more Caleb yeah. Williams could do more to impress me more, you know, as a quarterback. Whereas with Drake May, he can improve more and be more of just like a a solidified, accurate passer and be more dynamic that way and be more consistent for me to say, wow, this guy really is amazing. Uh, but for me, I just didn't see it enough. I, I wish him well. 
I think the Patriots did a great job, though, building, protecting around him. But let's let's go into great this. Great job. Did, yeah. Oh, well, wait, hold on. Okay. I'm going to talk. Before yeah, we go, go into it, I'm just going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's got those older brothers, so you know that what that means. He took a lot of That's right. ass whoopings yeah. growing up. I mean, not only in competition, but yeah. probably physically, too. <laughs> but the other thing is, he is tough as yeah. hell. That's the one thing I love about him. And the other thing, the offensive coordinator up there, Alex Van Pelt, fit can really fit right. Drake May. Cleveland. What I thought Cleveland's greatest thing on offense, especially after they lost Chubb, is is the play action pass game, how they right. can get it down the field. They had so many ways to do it, and it I'll be shocked if we don't see all those ways with yeah, the New England Patriots sure. this year. No, so and, that's and, my no, this is where I just, you know, say? your thoughts, though, too, they they take Drake May in the first, and then later on in the draft, they take Joe Milton. You know, w- what is your first impression when you kind of see that? Uh, it's not quite Robert Griffin, Kirk Cousins round two, but it's interesting that they took maybe the most impressive raw talent that was available at the quarterback position in Joe Millen, because I know one thing, Drake May, yeah, you're the first round pick, but I'm telling you, man, the teammates there, when they see Joe Milton throw the ball, they're going to be like, damn, this guy's impressive. So, you know, what What are your thoughts on them taking Joe Milton late in the draft? I hated it. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 why? I hated it. I hated it for, I yeah. hated it for Drake May. You know, you listen, you know, there's nothing like being a quarterback and walking out on the field and physically being the best capable guy. Just, you know, the look. And, you know, you take it now, you're going to put Joe Milton in that process, another rookie that even to me yeah. makes it worse. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are, you know, I even saw it on TV. They asked him, you know, have they thought about moving to tight end? He goes, I've never heard that. And then he basically no. said, that's not going to happen. And no. a kid shouldn't big, great arm, much better and more polished than I expected when I studied him yeah. at Tennessee this year. So that was impressive. Great kid and uh mobile so there's a lot to like i mean hell he's just another version yeah. of drake may and you know maybe not as polished because of time and fighting through all the things that happened had a job even a year before got hurt and then of course hendon hooker came in there and wiped it up and he never got back in there until the end and when right. hendon hooker got hurt but uh so you know i i'm just it's just me as an ex-quarterback and you I, I don't like it. Let's put it that I, I just don't like the whole circumstances, the way it looks, and what kind of little box it can kind of put Drake yeah. May into. That's just my thoughts. There, I believe in him. And um, as soon as he picked, he was picked. I was with your brother Christopher, and I said, "What do you think?" He goes, "Oh gosh." He had the same expression yeah. that I did right away. So yeah, that's what I feel about that. What? Give me your no. I mean, it's your thoughts it's uh, you know, it's it. just it's one of those weird things where just you know you thought that you were, you know, it it man, you know, the in man. a real short period of time, Drake May learned the business of the NFL. You know, in less in less than two days, right. he realized that yeah, the clock is ticking on your own career because they didn't even give you a year you know, for you to find out what you got. They already got a a backup plan to you the same season. So I feel like it's just a kind of an awakening for him in that sense of like, it is a business, you know, and this dude is as talented to you in a lot of ways. And I think in a lot of ways, maybe as polished as a passer, a more fluid thrower of the football to me, you know, and Someone that I think really kind of got a bad rap because I think Tennessee as a whole just wasn't as good as they were the year before that and didn't quite have the same receiver talent. And, you know, maybe just people kind of caught up to what they were doing schematically on offense a little bit. and wasn't as creative, but I mean, Joe Milton's got it all. He really does. The only thing that Drake has over him, I think, is really just the, the amount of reps and experience of being the guy for an extended period of time. So. Uh, really interesting. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it myself, uh, but, you know, I guess it's it, there's no better time to learn than now as far as just the business of the NFL for Drake May. So hopefully he can he can overcome that pretty quickly. Yeah, I think my last thing is, is, you know, don't forget who's up there. You know, everybody kind of makes fun of Jacoby Percet oh, being coming up there and being a, you know, the, I mean, come on, yeah. what the hell are you looking at? He, let's, he's, he's another one. 
underrated, uh, way underrated yeah. in my opinion. Big, can move around, sneaky mobile. Even though, I, you know, I would say to Jacoby, I do, and I'm not being mean or smart, uh, you know, lose 10 pounds just to give yourself even a little more dynamic part of the game. But he has a good arm, good processor. Every time he plays, he shows up pretty well. I mean, he's not, you know, he's always going to be fighting to be that maybe a one-year starter or the backup and all that. That's going to be the rest of his career, yeah. but he's had a good career. And, they look, that's some quarterback that room they got now. I know okay. one thing, though. That, that's the biggest that's damn quarterback good. room in the NFL. I mean, all three guys are just yeah, athletic right. and just, you know, big, strong, physical big. QBs that, like, yeah. in the old school sense, too. So, uh, and Jacoby's a, a way better athlete, too, than oh, I yeah. think people give him credit for, too. So. Uh, yeah. The guy that's proven, yeah. made it the hard way in the NFL, and he's earned this opportunity too. And I think for Drake May and Joe Millen, you know, be excited to learn from a guy that's made it the way that Jacoby Brissett has because, yeah. you know, no one has adapted and struggled through more to, to, to have what he has now in his career. So I think that's just a great thing for him, for, for really all of them in the room to absorb that information from him.